This series of photographs features the seaside resort of New Brighton, England. It was captured by the British photographer Martin Parr between 1983 and 1985. His saturated, satirical and anthropological look at the working class divided critics and audiences at the time. Some saw it as the finest achievement to date of color photography in Britain, while others view it as an aberration. During my career, some people have found my work controversial. You know, some people don't like it, but many people do like it. But I suppose the fact that people notice it is the thing that's important. Since Parr's book, The Last Resort, which was almost 40 years ago, he never stopped creating work on the seaside around the world. There are great studies of how the culture manifests in different beaches around the world. I'm addicted to beaches. I love the beach. You, in America, you have the street. In Britain, we have the beach. I have a decent experience shooting on the streets, but my first attempt on shooting on the beach was about two years ago when I went to Bray in Ireland. I got two very nice sunny days and I was happy with the photographs I created at the time. But those two days don't really give a glimpse of how deep Martin Parr is when it comes to beach photography. I mean, he's been shooting for about 40 years now. On his own words, the beach is a place where we relax, we get rid of obstacles, and I have established affection for the beach as a place to photograph. People can really be themselves as they sunbat, play, swim, and relax. Recently, I tried to make some beach street photography in Brazil, and these images look and feel a little bit different than the ones I did in Ireland. The light conditions, colors, and activities on the beach were very different. I do understand why Par has such a fascination for the seaside. It's a great way to discover different cultures. People are physically and socially more naked. As I spent more time shooting in Brazil than in Ireland, I was able to capture more vibrant images. Also, I worked in different hours of the day, which gives a variety of mood for the pictures. The main thing about shooting in the summertime is the color. You can always expect strong colors. Also, burnt skins, bikinis and short marks. Now, when it comes to technique and style, there are some aspects that are par signature, and some gear and techniques that he has been experimenting over the years. Here are a few things that I observed from his work. He's famous for the use of flash in daylight. The last resort is all flash in broad daylight, which is pretty smart considering the weather in Britain is usually overcast. It's something that I have not used during daytime on the beach, but I definitely should give a try. Shallow focus. This is a technique of having the background or the foreground out of focus. It does make the images pop, and combined with the saturated color, it gives a very pop art feel to the images. Another aspect of his photography that I have to mention here is his playfulness. Some people think he's making fun of people, but I never felt that way. I always think he's shooting what's in front of him with a little bit of humor, and he knows his boundaries. There's always some level of exploitation with photography. It's a medium that is very voyeuristic by nature. Parr is definitely more, let's say, provocative and playful than I would be, but nonetheless, I think I should try to be more playful and comical every once in a while. And the last aspect of his work I want to talk about is gear. On his own words, in my long career, the many cameras and techniques I have used have first been applied to beach photography often in the early days of a particular phase of my work. It feels like the beach is really his training camp where he uses new gear, try new approaches before going to different environments. He has used a variety of cameras over the decades. 
He photographed The Last Resort with a medium format film camera. I always love the colors and quality of the images from The Last Resort and I really used that as an inspiration for my street photography in the early days in Dublin. I love those times of discovery, of style and gear and understanding the medium. Well, back to Pars Gear, he's been using a digital full-frame camera for almost two decades now. Well, I'm sure Martin Parr can shoot anything with any camera, but it's always interesting to see how photographers develop their style and what gear they used along the way. I have to mention that Martin Parr is one of the most copied photographers of all time. On this video, I'm not trying to copy him, but use some aspects of his approach and techniques on my own work. So, after everything I talked about Martin Parr on this video, I have to say that the number one thing that makes me a fan of his work is his stamina and consistency over the decades. Martin Parr has a, such an endurance to create work, he's a real finisher, he published more than a hundred books and he always keeps going. I hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. I see you on the next one. Adios!